folks. I'd like to welcome you back, or if you're just signing on to the stream or just viewing the stream. You are watching the Eastern States Championship. This is the return of three tours coming together to bring this great tournament this Labor Day weekend. We want to wish everybody a happy, a healthy, and a safe holiday. There was $2,000 added to the ABCD side of this tournament, and $3,000 added to the Open Pro. We're about to watch the hot seat match on the open pro side. And the two players getting up to swing it out. Are these two players right here. Mike DeShane and Joey DePuy, two local players right here at a Snooker's pool room. The three tours coming together, of course. Lori Jean, Ride the Nine Tour. Tournament director of Ride the Nine Tour. The Predator Pro-Am Tour. And Mark Dion, New England Nine Ball Series. We're going to let you look at these photo ops right here. And we are recording them. You see, Mark Dion is all the way to the left, who is the tournament director for the New England Nine Ball Series. Mike DeShane, the second from the left. Jason Shard of Scotland, now residing in Connecticut. Jeremy Sosi of Connecticut. Joey Dupree, right out of here in Rhode Island. The gentleman standing by next to Joey Dupree in the red shirt is Mr. Steve Goulding, and the far right is Mr. Tony Robles. We call him CR. And the two taking the pitches that are off to the camp, off to your left side of your monitor are Allison Fisher, and standing right next to her is Jerry Tarantola with the hat. There he goes. Right We're having a great time, as you can hear everybody laughing out there. Hot seat match, you hear them, they're calling it. We're ready to roll. As soon as the players are warmed up, both players play on this table quite often. AZB TV sitting right here. Bringing the live stream out to you alongside NYC Grind and the Predator Pro Am Tour. Folks, azbillards.com, the world's largest pool and billiards website, azbillards.com. Go there and browse the forums. You can read the posts that people are making about tournaments coming up or whatever you wish in pool. I mean, it's probably in your local area and all over the world. If you want to post something, about an event that you're taking part in or running. You can go to azbillions.com and up in the right hand corner you'll see a little tab that says uh, free to join. Click that and you're on your way to join the world's largest pool and billiards website azbillions.com. September 12th and 13th. AZB TV and NYC Grind will be moving into Castle to you to East Rutgers, New Jersey to bring you 16-man tournament for King of the Castle. $10,000 added, $27,000 for first place. That's September 12th and 13th, it's a Friday and Saturday. After that, AZB TV, AZ Billiards and NYC Grind will be heading up to do the Turning Stone Casino, the nine ball open tournament. You can see Karen Core, Shane Zamboni, and Johnny Archer featured on the poster. This is the tournament of Mike Douglas, Josh Northeast Tour. One of the finale, Turning Stone Classic. As the players flip for this break. AZP TV and NYC Grind will also be right back here. The 26th annual. <laughs> Ocean State Nine Ball Tournament combined with the Josh Northeast Nine Ball Tour. It's a $5,000 added banner event. And here's some of the banners from the past and present winners. The green banners with the gold writing up on them. In fact, one of the winners, and I don't know if he's won it twice, but one of the winners that won the Ocean State will be playing right here on the live stream. And Mr. Michael Dechain. We also want to remind you that AccuSat Make It Happen event will be taking place November 6th through the 9th at Sandcastle Billiards. 
Edison, New Jersey, the Edward Valley Pool Room, inside the Simonis Arena. We got to get back to the action as Joe DeQuay says, let's get it on. It's a race to nine, folks, playing dead even ten balls. Fresh, bang, crack them up. Please spread the word, guys, that this is the hot seat match. I see Jason Shaw warming up down there. We might have Tony Robles and Gail Glazebrook, Tony's wife, sit in for this one and call it as they see it. The only problem with that is they do not have, know how to work the score, so they would probably just announce the score with each game. I'm doing all that talking when the mic was off. That's great. So, now let me do this intro once again. Welcome back, everybody. If you're just signing on, this is the Eastern State Championship. We're coming to you live on this Labor Day weekend from Slippers here in Providence, Rhode Island. The match is underway between Michael DeShane and Joey Dupuis for the hot seat. Two local players playing right out of Slippers. Three tours coming together. Ride the Nine Tour, the leader of that tour, tournament director Gloria Jean. The Predator Pro-Am Tour, Tony Robles and Gail Glaceford Robles. Running the Predator Pro-Am Tour. Of course, the New England Nine Ball Series ran by Mark Dion and company. I'm upstate Al of AZB TV. Sitting in this one right here, solo. We might have Dale Glacebrook Robles and Tony Robles sit in for this one. The only problem is they might not know how to keep the score, change the score with the format that's here on the system, but they will verbally say it. I would suspect that this will be a fast match. AZV TV and NYC Grind will be moving into Castle Billiards on 17 North of East Buffett, New Jersey. 16 man, $27,000 first place prize. September 12th and 13th. That's Mike DeShane goes about his business and draws first blood 1-0. And then after, that will be the 12th and 13th, that's a Friday and a Saturday of September. Following that, we will be heading up to the Turning Stone Casino to do the coverage for the Josh Northeast Nine Ball Tour. The finale at the Turning Stone Casino in Verona, New York. You can see Karen Core, Shane Van Boney, and Johnny Archer featured on the poster. That'll be the 18th through the 21st, and that weekend after that, we will be in Lindenhurst, Long Island, at uh, Scott Murphy's room to cover the Predator Pro-Am Tour, the 27th and the 28th. And please check out AccuStats.com, that's A-C-C-U hyphen they got a Make It Happen event coming up. November 6th through the 9th. It's a invasional. World champions, that's three, four, five. Gee whiz it, Mike. Why don't you break them a little bit? Five balls on the break and ten balls. Planting the rock right in the center of the table. How do you hit it?
Mike DeShane jumping out to a quick 2-0 lead over Joey Dupuis with that second break, making five balls on the break. And the two shots right after that. Back up at the table, Mike DeShane. Let's listen to the crack of the whip. Wow. Break it a quad. Three ball goes around the world again. One ball dresses up right in the corner pocket. Patch on Mike's shoulder, sponsored by Snippers. Mike DeShane firing him in at 9,000 miles an hour, breaking at the sound, breaking the sound barrier as he smashes his back kitchen apart. He looks like a freight train right now. Watch the sh shattering of the pack from up above. That time the one ball drops, but the two ball comes out for a shot. Long distance but makeable, and that's the pace that Mike DeShane is going at. He can follow up with it. It's not something that he actually has to do much with it and elect to play the three into the side. It looks like the three will go right by the nine six. time we're going to see Joe Dupuis take over this table. Joe 
it likes to play safe. Looking for a rail. <laughs> Mike choking around with Joey. <laughs> Joey's a ball in hand and Mike said, wait a minute, don't grab it. Did you ask? <laughs> All right. In any case, it is ball in hand. Joe's a free up the table. Both players can fire him in. You give any you give any kind of air to Joey, he can take advantage of it. Right, Joe Dupuy had a chance to put a beat up and accomplish that very nicely. Scores now three to one, even race to nine. I want to give a big shout out to Snippers for holding this event. Steve Golden, Regina, the whole crew here have been great. AZBilliards.com, NYC Grind, the Predator Pro Am Tour, Picasso Hybrid Cues. Of course, bonus claw and Ironman Ball, along with the tap team. Upstate our sponsors. Here we go, game four. That's how quick we're running right through this right now. Joseph has got the break and smash him. He loses the cue ball a little bit. Ten ball finds its way way up table. Gets wired with the seven. So we're looking at a seven ball run, but the problem is look at the one, four, and eight that he married up on that side of the table. Is this going to be one of those trick shots here? Where you fire at the one and the four goes cross side. The eight goes up in the corner. <laughs> look at this. kick area. We all know you can kick it in, but push it out. I'm gonna ask somebody to watch the hit. Mark Dion will step into the camera view. And Joey Dupuy already calls the one in the side pocket. We'll 
go to the overhead to watch it. Oh, he didn't call the one. He changed his mind. Joey's on one. Look at this situation. Joe's on one. Ball in hand to Mike Deshane. Get the tournament director in here. Mike's just going to go on one. Lock this eight against... Now, I've seen this situation before. I've seen this take place in Chelsea's, and I actually saw a Ginky jump over the ball and hit the object point that was in the middle, and cue ball stayed on the table and made it to a cushion. Both players on one right now. This is getting very interesting. The whole crowd is just about on their feet trying to grow necks like giraffes. Joey is now on two. Elects to give Mike ball in hand. Mark Dion standing off to the side. One of the tournament directors watching every shot. And the one ball is not frozen, Mike Deshane says. And Mike Deshane nudges the one. Brings the three up. And Mark Dion has asked Mike Deshane to step out away from the table as he is at the table. And if you call me to call a shot, then that's what I'm here for. Joe Dupuy is on two fouls. Wow, he's got to spin this too. He's jumping, jumping. No hit. Mike Deshane now at four. Joe Dupuy at one. Ball once again. Wow, it's tracking. Kicked away by the five.
Get him, Bar. Guys, keep it cool in the chat, please. We don't need the funny business like that going on. That's why the moderators are in place. Let's have a good time here on this Labor Day weekend. We might be feeling a little good right now. We're having a great time here at Slippers. Perfectly played game by Mike DeShane. And Joey started it out by dropping the eight ball around the one. By pushing the seven ball to around the one. Mike DeShane from there on in, and from the beginning of the opening game, has been slamming the packages apart with five balls on the break at one time. Shape for the ten. Playing speed pool over here. Mike Deshane now leads five to one in this race tonight. Jason Shaw and Jeremy Sosi are in a match down there for another shot, and it looks like it's two to one in favor of Jeremy Sosi. Remember, guys, the next tournament here, $500 added. WPBA membership. Don't forget about this. The 26th annual Ocean State nine ball tournament. We got to get right back to the action because Mike has been breaking the sound barrier. Take a listen. That was Jason Shaw. That was Mike the Shane. <laughs> Double foul. Shotguns the three ball once again finds its way around the world into the corner pocket. Mike the Shane is breaking them hard. Take a look at the five ball next to the rail down there. Maybe that's going to be a problem, that five ball, especially from here. Unless Mike can go back with Z and get underneath this five and shoot it in the same corner as he's going to shoot the four. Oh, he went three where else around. What a great shot. Nice shot. Got a safety. Well, if he wants to stay aggressive, he can pocket it and bump the nine. If he can touch the nine, get a clear shot on the six. <laughs> Sign him up. You know, he was on the USA trick shot team. He's all around talent. You might have to sign him up for the speed pool. Get on the Mike DeShane train right here because that's what he's doing. Running in and out of town. Now leads this match six to one. The race to nine. If you're just signing on, this is what you're watching, the Eastern State Championship. It's called the return of the Eastern State Championship. 
Just a Labor Day weekend. Three tours coming together. The Predator Pro-Am Tour, Ride the Nine Tour, and the New England Nine Ball Series. $2,000 added to the amateur division of it. $3,000 added to the Open Pro. You are watching the Open Pro Hot Seat match between Mike DeShane and Joey DeQueen. You haven't seen much of Joey, though, because Mike the Train DeShane. He's got the locomotive kicking into high gear as we're going to sweat the brake once again. Four ball into the side pocket. The six finds the upper corner. The one ball is all dressed up towards the upper right-hand side of your monitor. And the two ball in the wide open. The crowd is starting to consume this table. And the, the two people that I was hoping for earlier before this match started had just showed up. They said they're in the union, so they, they, they can take off. So I'm going to step out and have Gail Glazebrook step in. Uh, Robles with Mr. Tony Robles. You guys don't have to worry about changing the score. You can call it out, right? You don't have to worry about all of that. Okay, so they're going to step in two seconds, guys. Hi, everyone. Hello, everybody. Iggy's in the chat room. I mean, we were going to say hi to everyone. I know we just got here, but I believe Mike Shane is winning by the score of 7 to 1. Yep, he's up 7 to 1. Wow, really? Yeah. Al told me that he's just not missing. Ah, uh, well, he has a tendency to do that. Sounds pretty loud, right? That break is pretty darn killer. And that is uh, three balls on the break. <laughs> Someone told me he made five balls on the break in the first, uh, the first rack. Yeah, he seems to have that zone look about him right now. Hey, Bogies, Bogie, uh, this is the chat. This is the chat. How you doing, Bogey? Good to hear from you. Hello, we miss you in the tour. We hope to see you soon. Is Alaska fan a devil pitcher? Oh, yeah, he's in stroke. <laughs> Well, I think that he wanted to make a statement because from what I heard, the last time he played Joe, Joe beat him in, uh, what was it, the Hall of Fame Championship, I think it was? He had to beat him twice in the final, and he did. He beat Mike uh, twice in the final. Okay. So. Ooh, he came off the close to that, that corner yeah. pocket. If he's fine, he's going to take an 8-1 to one lead. Yeah, I think that is Deborah Pritchett. She said, yes, sir. Alaska fan. 
<laughs> look at look at food junkie. Hi Tony. If you if I mean yeah, well, if you and Tony don't work out for some unforeseen reason, I'm here for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Pool Junkie. <laughs> Tony, keep on my good side. I got a backup. <laughs> you have a great backup plan. Uh, we'd like to take the opportunity to introduce ourselves first. I don't think we even did that. My name is Gail Robles, and this is Tony Robles. And we are here at Snookers in Providence, Rhode Island, for the 16th stop of the Predator Pro Am Tour. This is also a collaboration with the Ride the Nine Tour and the New England Nine Ball Tour. Uh, this is the Eastern State Championship. You're actually watching Whoop. the Pro Side Tournament. We ran two events this tour. Uh, to, at this event, uh, we ran an amateur. You, anybody watching earlier, saw Eric Tang win our amateur event, and you are now watching the hot seat match of our pro event, Mike Deshane versus Joey Dupuy. Gail, can you please stop messing with the screen? Look, there it was are people trying to watch timing. a match here. <laughs> it was perfect timing. <laughs> oh, and he's uh, the freewheeling's about to stop. No, he's called the two ball real first. I think he can make it. If he makes this, he's pretty much out. Wow, he is in a zone. Whenever Mike's in in, uh, in his zone, he uh, sticks his tongue out while he's walking around. <laughs> I'd like to say hi to dear friend uh, Joe DeVito, who's got his little guy watching. Hi, little Who player in the making? <laughs> How you doing, little guy? that <laughs> we didn't last long here and, and we actually have a while to go too before the next match starts because i mean <laughs> just to show you just to show you uh how quickly that match went uh the current score between jeremy saucy and jason shaw is four to one yes and i'm not even sure who's, who's leading in that match but we're about to find out i guess within the next five minutes i'm gonna yeah, Joe Dupuy just came yeah. to the uh, commentator booth and he said he got out of his seat twice. There was definitely uh, not a lot of opportunity for Joe in that match, that's for sure. Let me see. I don't want to mess with uh, upstate Al's equipment, but I'm, should I test it to see if I can move that camera over there? I don't know. I don't even know how to move it, to be honest with you. Maybe... Uh... Ooh, I don't want yeah. to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> no, I, th I think we should wait to see till Al gets here and then ask him. I feel bad. Al just left. Oh, look. Al's coming back. He's always on the job. Gail is about to try to move the camera. Oh, now I know what's gonna. Now I know what's gonna happen. Gail's gonna think she's tough just because she moved the camera. 